हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज कैले हैमिल्टन थ्योरम एंड व्हाट आर इट्स एप्लीकेशंस सो लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ कैले हैमिल्टन थ्योरम इट स्टेट्स दैट एवरी स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स सेटिस्फाइज इट्स ओन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इक्वेशन नाउ यू मे आस्क मी व्हाट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स that if a is a square matrix of order n with characteristic equation given by lambda raised to n plus a1 into lambda raised to n minus 1 plus a2 into lambda raised to n minus 2 plus up to an is equal to 0 where lambda is the eigen value and a1 a2 an are some constants then a satisfies this equation means if i substitute a for lambda then still this equation holds this is called as matrix satisfies its characteristic equation now we will see example on this here question is verify kale hamilton theorem for the following matrix a and find a inverse also express a raised to 6 minus 6 a raised to 5 Plus nine a raised to four minus two a cube minus twelve a square plus twenty three a minus nine a as a linear polynomial in A where matrix A is given by this. Now in this question there are three sub questions. First we have to verify Kale Hamilton theorem for the given matrix. Then we have to find out A inverse using Kale Hamilton theorem, and then we have to express this huge matrix as a linear polynomial in a so let us first verify kale hamilton theorem for the given matrix to do so we have to find characteristic equation of this matrix characteristic equation of the matrix is given by determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 you can substitute for a and i in this and solve this equation to find characteristic equation or you can refer one of my video in which i have shown you trick to find characteristic equation of a 3 cross 3 matrix without solving this equation link of that video is given in the description box so by using that trick you can have characteristic equation as lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 9 lambda minus 4 is equal to 0 now by kale hamilton theorem this matrix a should satisfy this equation that means if i replace lambda by a we will have a cube minus 6a square plus 9a minus 4 into identity is equal to 0 this equation holds i label it as 1 we have to verify this means we have to prove that lhs is equal to rhs now we begin with the lhs in lhs we have a cube a square like terms so first we find this a cube and a square and then we will substitute in the left hand side you can use calculator to find out these higher powers of a or you can go with manual way a square is a into a so by multiplying a with a you will have a square as this matrix Similarly a cube is a square into a then multiplying these two matrices you will get a cube as this matrix finally we substitute a cube and a square in equation number 1 so we see from left hand side if i substitute a cube a square a and i we have this step then using simple matrices algebra we see that this expression is equal to a zero matrix so we just proved that a cube minus 6a square plus 9a minus 4i is equal to zero that is equation 1 holds so we say that kale hamilton theorem is verified now we move on to the second sub question that is to find a inverse using kale hamilton theorem so by kale hamilton theorem we already have this equation number 1 now we multiply both sides with a inverse to get 
ए स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स ए प्लस नाइन इंटू आई माइनस फोर ए इनवर्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ आई टेक दिस फोर ए इनवर्स ऑन द अदर साइड सो वी हैव फोर ए इनवर्स इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स ए प्लस नाइन आई वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड वॉट इज ए स्क्वायर इज सो वी विल सब्सटीट्यूट ए स्क्वायर हियर ए हियर and identity matrix here and we will simplify this expression so we get 4a inverse is equal to this taking this 4 on the other side we will have a inverse matrix so in this way you can find out a inverse now finally we will move on to the last sub question where we have to express this huge expression as a linear polynomial in a to do so we will divide it by left hand side of this equation number 1 so after division using division algorithm we can write this expression as a cube into a cube minus 6a square plus 9a minus 4i plus 2 times a cube minus 6a square plus 9a minus 4i plus 5a minus i we see that from equation number 1 this left hand side is equal to 0 so we can replace these brackets by 0 so we get this expression is equal to 5a minus i so you can see that this huge expression in a is now written as a linear polynomial in a i hope you understood what is kale hamilton theorem and its applications in finding a inverse and the matrices represented by such huge expressions thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos